Uh, Saint-Germain arrived in Amiens with one eye on their Coupe de France final with Les Herbières on Tuesday night. The Ligue 1's top scorer made it 28 goals in 32 games that Edison Cavani gave the champions the lead. Angers had never scored in one league and two cup assignments against the champions. But Moussa Konate changed that two minutes after the restart. PSG didn't let the unicorns enjoy the moment too long. Charles Nkunko's fourth of the season looking to continue a record. And the champions not failing to win when they've opened the scoring. And yet they were consigned to a second successive two all draws. Konate had the last word. Amion officially safe in a stunning debut Ligue 1 Conferanima season. Leon aimed to keep a stranglehold on second place and never looked in trouble against relegation threat in Twa. Bernard Traore with a cute back heel to bamboozle visiting goalkeeper Erwan Zelzani, netting for the fifth consecutive match. And the young Ivorian doubled his tally and Leon's lead just seven minutes later. 12 goals for the season, too short of a personal best for a league campaign. Maxime Cornet stepped off the bench to round off a 3 0 win that pushes Leon closer to the Champions League and Twa to the drop. Monaco hope to arrest a worrying dip in form to keep their bid for a top three finish on track and look to do just that at relegation threat in Caen. Teenage midfielder Rusa Silla marking his first start with a maiden professional goal. But Caen, without a win in seven, were level before the break when Ivan Santini showed poise and class to curl home. The Croat scoring in consecutive matches to hit 11 for the season. But incredibly, it was teenager Silla who had the final word. Again, in the right place, the perfect moment. Remy Vakutra punished severely. Monaco remain on the podium. Marseille qualified in midweek for the Europa League final and were caught flat-footed by Nice and Mario Balotelli. The Italian showing strength and power to open the scoring. Valia Germain, goal scorer for Nice when they last won at the Velodrome, snuck in between Nice's centre backs to level for OM after great work from captain Dimitri Payet. Payet joining Neymar on 13 assists for the season. The provider became match winner as the French international was able to slot home nonchalantly to be found by Clinton and G. They remain one point off the podium and two drift of second. Then aimed to end a four-match winless run at home to Strasbourg to get their Europa League dream back on track. The visitors lent a helping hand and Ismail Saar was brought down in the box. Benjamin Burejo's ninth of the season, opening the scoring. Strasbourg rode their luck, but it ran out when Alexander Okija made a mess of his clearance. Yet the finish from Adrian Unu was still sensational. Third of the season for the 24-year-old. Clearly the standout one. Dimitri Leonard made the finale interesting, but ultimately Strasbourg fell to defeat. And leaves their league and status in the balance. Then, of course, for Europe. saint Etienne aimed to continue their drive towards European qualification by ending visitor Bordeaux's chances of catching them. And things look rosy when Remy Cabella punished Pablo's lunge on Robert Beric. But Bordeaux had lost just once in the last eight encounters with Lever and were level moments later. Yunus Sankari ghosting in to comfortably beat Stefan Ruffier, seven for him this season. And before the break, Jules Gunde was the one to react quickest from Pablo's header. Teenager smashing in his second top flight goal. Rabbi Cabela missed a penalty before Malcolm rounded off a huge win for Bordeaux, who were just three adrift to Saint Etienne in the table. Nantes faced Montpellier at the Stade de la Bourgeois, with both sides still with faint European qualification hopes. But it was former Canaries coach Michel de Zacharain who burst his former side's bubble. South African Keegan Dolly with a quite stunning chip. Isaac Mbemza took less than a minute to hit a thunderbolt after climbing off the bench. And it was enough to end Nantes' Euro dreams while keeping Montpellier's well and truly alive. Gangon could still catch their Euro rivals, but came unstuck at a resurgent Dijon. 
Despite two heavy defeats to Leon and Borja, the home side took the lead through World Cup ban Kuang Changhun. South Korean striker with four goals in his last six outings. Yet former PSG young Sir Felix Aboa Aboa leveled just shy of the hour mark. Gangong couldn't stretch a fine match on beat to run. As Di Jong came roaring back, Cedric Gimberi making it 2 1 and name slitting, rounding off a 3 1 win. Only a win would do in Ness's late drive for salvation. And Florent Mollier helped himself to open the scoring, it gave the club hope. But that was soon extinguished in heartbreaking fashion in stoppage time. Eiji Kawashima misjudging Lasana Kulabali's header. Pavlovic pounced in the box. A draw would have done the damage, but defeat hammered home the confirmation of Messi's return to League 2. Valiente securing Angers' Ligue 1 status. A five goal thrill at Le Stadium in this old fashioned relegation six pointer. Lille hit first with Nicola Pepe cleverly beating to lose teenage stopper Alban Lafont after five minutes. Yet soon after, Quentin Jean ghosted in at the back post to grab his first of a frustrating season to level. And the tails up, the stadium in full voice. The Purples went into the break with a vital lead. Christophe Julien there to stab home. Christophe Gauthier sent Lille out with renewed vigour and Yves Besuma thunderbolt drew the Northerners level with 10 minutes remaining. And shortly after, Pepe grabbed Lille a winner, beating Lafont to the ball to roll home what could be a huge goal in deciding who stays and who goes in Liga and Conferama's relegation battle. Well, no games played on the 5th of May, a request from Bastia since it marks the day in 93 when a collapsed stand saw 18 people lose their lives. Therefore, after Amiens secured their survival on Friday with first goals and point against PSG, pack schedule on Sunday saw 30 goals to add to the four at the Stade de la Licorne. PSG can't reach 100 points, but two wins would break the previous best of 96. Lyon, Monaco and Marseille all won to leave just two points between the podium hopefuls. Messi the first club to officially be relegated, while Angers and Amiens secured top flight football for next season. Trois looked the most likely to make a swift Ligue 2 return, while only three points separate 18th from 15th with two to play. The last two weekends will see all teams play simultaneously with plenty to still be sorted out. Monaco and Saint-Étienne face a Euro crunch match with Lyon and Marseille hoping Le Vert can do them a favour. Trois and Toulouse face daunting away days in their battle against the drop.